Hello, my lovely friends. Welcome to another video. I'm trying this new mic. And yeah, so we're going to try this new mic and see how it's going to work. This is going to be the first video with this mic. I test it. The audio is awesome. So I like it. So we're going to be trying this mic because YouTube is a learning game, a learning process. All right, let's get into this video. So I just finished eating my delicious dinner. And when I'm eating, I like to watch the news on my, um, I like to watch YouTube news, you know, so I was watching the news and then I see, you know, I'm always, I'm following the Gen Z's and I'm seeing what they're doing. I'm following politics and stuff like that. And I'll, and I see there's an earthquake. I see the news come up and I see it says earthquake hit Kenya, you know, at 8.35 PM, a 4.2 earthquake hit Nairobi, Kenya. And I'm saying, what? What is going ahead? I know earthquake has hit Kenya before. It's not like Kenya has never been hit by earthquake. But what are the odds of an earthquake hitting Kenya the same day that the Gen Z's are demonstrating? What are the odds, people? So I'm making this video to say, like, guys, there are many signs out there showing us stuff. We better open our eyes and see what is going on because something is about to come down. Something spiritual is about to come down. Guys, I'm telling you, something is in the atmosphere. The Most High is doing a lot of stuff. Look, we just had a hurricane burial. We have all this flooding right now in Toronto. It's flooding like crazy. Right here in Ottawa, we had like so much mini storms. Like times are just crazy. I mean, it was raining two days ago. I've never seen so much water in my entire life. And the rain was coming down heavy. I mean, we have hail in Canada in summertime. Guys, something, the shift, the shift is coming. And for those of you who are spiritual people, those of you who believe in the Most High, those of you who believe in the Ruha, it is coming. Get yourself prepared. Don't be caught sleeping. Wake up and smell the coffee. All these things that is happening is not a coincidence. It's like my sister island, Grenada, got hit by the hurricane burial. And it's like destruction upon destruction. And it's like my sister island was just totally destroyed. Karikou and Peter Martin, like totally destroyed. But what you guys are not seeing is like one person died in Karikou. Nobody else died, just one person there. But if you see the, like if you see how Karikou look when they fly the drone, it's like somebody just take their hand and just do like this and everything just crush. Like you guys got to look like at, a supernatural, like in the spiritual uh, sense. Like this is not climatic business. Like forget about the climatic stuff. This, this ain't no climatic thing happening here. This is the work of the power. And some of you don't want to hear this, but this is the end times and a lot of things is going to come down. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. So guys, prepare yourself because... It is coming, I'm telling you. So, share your thoughts in the comment section. What do you guys think? Do you think that this earthquake that happened in Kenya, it's a sign from above? Do you think it's a sign from above? I believe it's a sign from above. I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you believe? Like, yeah, give me your thoughts in the comments because this is just such a coincidence with all this uproar, all this demonstration, all that stuff is happening, and boom, an earthquake just hit. But I want to tell you guys something that happened to me the other day. I was at my farm and I'm doing some work there. And all of a sudden I heard like a noise, like a, like a whooshing song, like a wind sound. I'm saying, hmm, what is this noise? And if you look at my video, you'll see my property. We have a fire pit on the opposite end of the property. So I, I decided to look over on that side because this is where the wind song was coming from. And guys... I saw a tornado. Like I've never seen a real tornado in my life. I've only seen it on TV, you know, when you're watching a movie or something. 
I see like right by my fire pit there where we light fire, this tornado is like high up, like this like this wind swirling thing, and it was high up in the sky. I got so scared. I'm like, oh my goodness. This is like a wind tornado, and it's going to hit my chicken, and it's going to destroy everything that's in its path because my, my trees... It's right in my willow tree and everything. But I was just more concerned for my chicken than anything else because it was in the path of the like the chicken thing. But then I realized that I was about to panic. But then this calm just come over me, completely calm. And you know me, I'm a YouTuber, right? <laughs> you know, we like to film things. Like, I had no desire absolutely to pick up my phone and film anything. I just felt like this calmness come over me. And I just stood there like somebody gawking with mouth wide open. And the thing was just so beautiful. I was just speechless. I was just standing there just looking at it. And it was just doing its thing in front of my eye. It didn't damage any single thing. And that little tornado just walked, came into the middle of my lawn. That is where I have my um, the little shelter that I put, uh, put up the little blue thing that you guys see on my property there it's like a little shade it come right there stand in the middle of the lawn listen guys and i'm telling you that thing didn't destroy anything it did not destroy nothing and it just came like walk from over there like like 10 feet 10 feet it just moved from 10 feet to the middle of the lawn and it's just like like the tornado wanted to tell me something, like to show me something. It came into the middle of the lawn and then it just disappeared. Like just out of nowhere, just disappeared. But I felt like so calm. I saw like beauty in that thing. I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't even, I can't even explain how I was feeling. But after the thing like left, I just sat down. I was like, oh my gosh. You know, I had, I, I just had that sudden thought that, you know, the Mosai is trying to tell me something. The Mosai is showing me something, but I don't, like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I mean, why would he, like, show me this tornado, this, this like, cone of, of wind, like, high up? I was, like, you know, because me, my natural instinct was, like, oh, my gosh, I'm, I'm scared. And I was alone, you know? And I, I was, like, oh, my goodness. The chicken coop is just going to be mashed up because that's just going to go straight through that and just destroy it. And I've never, I'm saying to myself, it's not a weird thing. Why would there be, like, a tornado? you know, like a middle-sized tornado, this cone wind thing. Why would it be like in the middle of the day on my property of all places? And why would it be like right by the fire pit? And like, why would this thing, like it just walk like a person and it just like moved across the lawn, stand there so I can see. And it was like, guys, I can't even explain. I can't even explain the thing because the thing just was just a beautiful thing. And I had that feeling inside of me. I couldn't explain. But when I, after the thing went, disappeared, I was just like, you know what? That's a message from above. And the Mosai is really telling us something. He is actually telling us something. And when I see all these other things happening, I just had to tell you guys about this tornado. Like this, I don't know how you call it, like a wind storm. Or it's like a tornado. It's like a thing with a cone and the wind is inside and it's in around and it's going really, really fast. And But it wasn't picking up anything because there's, you know, like debris and all kind of stuff. And I was like, is, these things, they usually pick up like dust and, and whatever, whatever, and makes like, a, you know, whatever these things. And anyway, it just was a strange thing. But what I'm telling you guys is those of you who are chosen, the chosen people of God, your time is near. I'm telling you, your time is near. We are living this a Babylon. Most high sun is coming for us, okay? And maybe some of you on the channel might say, this woman is going crazy. But I'm telling you, this is a message for my fellow brothers and sisters out there. The most high sun is on his way. And he's coming to get his chosen people. So chosen people, be prepared. Be prepared. Be prepared. Don't be left behind. See the signs, see the wonders, be as the prudent, see danger, and hide yourself like the scripture says in Proverbs. Don't be left behind because the awakening and the choosing and the separation is coming. And the Mosai is warning us. 
We need to open our spiritual eyes and we need to see. Like, if you look at the demonstrations that is happening all over the place, this is no coincidence. It is time for God's people to rise up. We have been stifled and taken advantage of and we have been enslaved and we have been robbed and all kind of things have happened to us. But now is the rising. Now is the awakening. And no one can stop that. No one can stop it. The Most High put his power on us so that we'll become docile so they can enslave us. Well, now the Most High has put his spirit on us so that the warriors can arise. I'm telling you right now. You see those gentiles are, are demonstrating? I'm telling you guys. It's like the Most High has put his power into the people. He has sent his power back. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Just think about it. Do you think uh, 400 million people, strong black men, kings and queens, because let me tell you something. Slavery is not the beginning of black people's life. Slavery is not the beginning of our existence. You understand me? We know our history. We know our existence. We know where we come from. Slavery didn't start us. We were living in colonized, amazing places. We had order. We were worshiping our God. Our God was fighting for us because we, we, we became disobedient. The most I had to punish us. And if you read Deuteronomy, you know, and if you, you, you would see, you would see it, you would see it right there. Don't close your eyes because it is right there. This is why we are we have become enslaved. But the most I told us if we repent from our sins and we bow down to him and put down our gods and turn back to him, he will hear our cries. He will hear our cries and he will turn his back. He will turn forward and he will hear us and he will destroy our enemies and all those people who try to hurt God's people. So when you see these Gen Z's demonstrating there, it's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. The Most High has put his spirits on the young men. He has put his spirits on them. And those young men, I'm telling you guys, they're going to demonstrate. He doesn't, they don't care if <laughs> their blood will run dry in the streets. But they would never give up. They would not give up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. So those of you who are looking at this thing, it is not going to stop. It is the awakening. The awakening has started. It has started. Prepare. Many more things are going to happen. There will be wars and rumors of wars, like it says in Matthew. There will be famine. There will be pestilence. There will be flood. There will be all kind of things happen. Just like when God tell Pharaoh to let his people, the Israelite, go. And they didn't want to let the people go. It's going to happen. So, guys, I just wanted to come on and talk. Because when I have things on my heart, I'm just going to share it here with you guys. I'm just going to share it with you. Because me, I'm a person who is moved by the Ruha. I am moved by the Spirit. And so I'll do exactly what the Spirit says. So let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the earthquake. And let me know what you think about what is happening in the world. What are your thoughts? And let me know what you think. Start a conversation in the comment section, guys. So. Mwah, mwah. thanks for watching and tell me how this how the video sounds in this mic if you like it or not i don't like kind of i don't know like filming with the mic looks kind of strange i'm not used to that but this is i have two mics and i'm testing this one out and i have another one that just clips on to my clothes and then clips on to the camera so next time i'll try that on a mic and see which one i like better so guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting me i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye.